Hey hey, welcome back to Making Stuff with Gizmo. Woohoo! Yeah, on this episode of Making Stuff, I'm uh, excited again because I'm going to make myself another little folding saw. I'm going to make it with the leftover piece of the original saw that I made my folding saw out of. This time I want to make a smaller one, and uh, yeah, I'll make it out of this little piece of saw. Um, we'll see how that turns out. And I've got some. Uh, timber here to make it out of and I'm going to sandwich that together and make my little knife out of this. So let's get on with the video. episode um, I'm going to make another little bush saw and a little folding saw because I'm really happy with how the other one turned out but now I want a little miniature one that I can easily pack take with me and uh, yeah I'll just figure out a shape that I want I'm going to make a little bit different locking mechanism for the blade on this one and I've got some ideas for that so yeah let's get started Okay, cut them into thin strips. And so now we're going to be able to glue them all together. shape up the rest with my miniature. So now that I've got this uh, rough shape sorted I'm going to just linish it roughly to size. On my last video I made the um, blade first and then I made the handle for the saw later and that, that was good doing it that way because I wanted the size of the blade. This time I want the actual saw to be the size of the handle because that's the size I'm limiting myself to carry around. I want this to be able to put it in my pocket if need be. So I'm going to make the handle size first and I'll make the blade suit it. What you should never do is uh, if you're going to be sanding timber with your linisher is don't sand metal with it because the metal will really blunt these um, sandpaper belts. I'm too lazy to change it from one to the other so I've really destroyed this belt sanding it with metal. I'm going to have to get myself some nice and sharp timber ones again and uh, it's a lot easier to sand just timber and keep that belt just for timber. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, there it is. I may or may not be able to use that hole. 
Well, I think I'll actually make the nose of the blade just cut short of that. Which way is it? Well, that's the wrong direction. That's the back, so I have to put the hole for the... Mmm. Okay. Not sure whether I need to use that bit or not. Um, I'll cut it out and I'll just leave that bit on for the time being. Okay, I ordered some of these, these little sleeve bolts, and uh, yeah, they should be perfect for putting the handle together. They'll be a nice, neat finish, not like a big nut sticking out of my other one. Which means I have to drill a hole in my blade, the thickness of one of these. Which is, it's eight, it's eight millimeters. That smoke's just the oil burning. Good, that's a nice snug fit. Just need to take the burrs off there. Okay, it's a little bit thick there. The uh, bolt doesn't reach, don't reach the blade, so I'm gonna have to start shaping it a bit first. That should look quite nice. That bolt in there. Okay, so there we are. I've roughed it out to the shape that I want, and put the blade in it. It's gonna be something like that. What I have to do now is rebate it out to suit the blade when it closes up and I'll do that and then I'll work out some way of doing a locking system on this.
So, the idea for a lock on this one is going to be super, super simple. I'm just going to drill a hole through there and put a brass pin that I can just slide from one side to the other. So I need to shape this end now to take a brass pin just there. And I'll just push on one side of it, then lock it, push on the other side of it, and unlock it. And you'll, you'll see what I mean later. pin to be here. So I need to cut all that away. Actually I can cut that right through like that. I do that and shape that like that. So I'll do that and then I can drill the hole for the brass pin which will hold it and drop. But then when I knock the pin down, it'll just spin around. Okay, I'll drill a hole down through there, through the blade, and through there. And I've got a little short piece of brass pin. And I'm going to insert that in there. It's a tight fit. It's actually a really tight fit, which is what I want. Okay, that holds the knife in place, so it doesn't move now. It's a tiny little bit of play in it, but that's okay. So there it is. So the idea is, the next thing I'm going to do is I've got to make it so I push on that side releases the knife, push on that side, grabs the knife. So I've got to do a tiny little slit around this brass pin to take the thickness of this blade. So when I slip it that way, the blade will actually spin around past it. Uh, it'll make more sense in a minute. Okay, I just need to do a little slit in this brass pin. How am I going to do that? I'm just going to stick it in the drill and then touch it with the hacksaw. Don't know whether that camera can focus in on that or not. Okay. Okay, what I've decided to do is to uh, carve out the face of this knife and 
I was originally going to carve some gum leaves in there, but I've decided to put actual real gum leaves in the handle. I'll do that. I'll put some real gum leaves in the handle. I just need to carve a, carve a space out so that they'll fit in there. And I'll go from there and then I'll glue them down and then I'll coat them with the clear lacquer. There it is. I've got a real gum leaf now and gum nut in the handle. It's a gum nut flower pot and the gum leaves. It's a locking pin on the front. The other side doesn't have that. There's the lanyard hole, the lanyard side. Open him up. Just open it up and show you the handle. Just open it up and show you the blade. So there it is, a new little folding saw. So there you go. I guess the next thing to do is to take it out in the bush and test it out. Okay, I'm out in the bush now, we'll give this a test, see how it goes. Absolutely beautiful. It'd be easier if I had something to lean on. Yeah, cuts good. Okay, so there it is. You can use my folding mini bush saw <laughs> with gum leaf and gum nut in the handle. See you on the next video. Bye!